All right, I'm uh, at the end of the ballpark, literally at the edge of the property. And you can see where the wilderness starts to, you know, it, it's just right there. And so with all this recent development here in Washington State, um, there's no re there, there, there's any wonder why people, uh, you know, encounter wildlife in the in close approximation to the city limits now apparently a couple of weeks ago some guy was on these trails here and this goes into class a wilderness you know as i keep on going into these soft uh, trees willows and birches and and alders and dogwoods and whatnot this will eventually give way to 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 douglas fir and noble fir and 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 you know those pine varieties and get into alpine scenarios but it's so thick back in there and you got joggers uh, there's a path right behind this particular uh, creek but um, yeah it's just right there at the edge and this is where the wilderness starts and they've got uh, one jogging path there and the city council members wonder why people are getting mauled by cougars and bears so you know just keep that in mind uh, I like to hike as much as the next person but when I do I carry my trusty 45 sidearm with me and of course uh, they have hollow points so anyway um, let's continue on okay I'm in another tot lot and uh, you know five minutes into the hunt some kid lost this strand of beads that's kind of funny no Mardi Gras around here all right, on to the next one. There we go. Yeah, that's the second uh, token I had here in this tot lot for today. All right, on to the next one. Looks like another clad quarter, about inch and a half, two inches down. And I'm finding all sorts of these. All right, it's like my 15th today. On to the next one. Yeah, it's too bad I don't play golf. This is my 17th golf ball uh, for the year like it's a Nike all right there you have it on to the next one aha surface find and surface finds are always nice I'll take it there you have it another one clad quarter yeah about uh, inch and a half two inches down on to the next one. And yet another clad quarter, about two and a half inches down. Running at about a 35 on the uh, discrimination on my Garrett AT Pro. Man, it's uh, great to have that back from uh, Garrett. Kind of went tits up on me, found out I had two uh, bad bulkheads. They did that uh, repair very quickly. Got it uh, back at the end of the week, and now I'm. Uh, I'm finding great stuff like this. All right, on to the next one. Okay, another clad quarter. About an uh, inch, inch and a half down. I'm at a uh, consolidated ballpark um, sports complex. Um, let me pan out and I'll show you where I'm exactly at. Uh, there's all sorts of There we go. So there's back-to-back -back sports complexes, ball, ball fields surrounded by industrial office buildings. So there's another ball field and soccer field adjoining this field. So there's three more in that direction. All right, on to the next one. Okay, I'm getting another high 86, 87 signal on the Garrett AT Pro. It's 
stay tuned and I'll uh, reveal what I find as soon as I uh, dig it up. All right, stand by. Okay, looks like another clad quarter. And uh, as far as the year is concerned, I'm having a slow start on clad quarters. This is only my 89th clad quarter. Unlike last year, I was trying to break my all-time record. Uh, this year, I'm trying to get well over 900 quarters. Got a well to go. All right, on to the next one. Okay, you can see it right there. Let me get a zoom in on it. Looks like a clad dime. I'll go ahead and examine it. Stand by. Okay, yep, there you have it. Clad dime. I'm not sure if I can uh, make out the date. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Nineteen eighty five, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. On to the next one. Hey there, folks. This is the wrap up from the last hunt. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the quarters. Uh, about uh, 31 clad quarters in that hunt. Not my all-time uh, record, but still quite a bit. Um, actually picked up a clad 50 cent uh, piece, 1973. And surprisingly, this is only my third or fourth uh, clad 50 cent piece. And I've only found one 64. Got about, uh, oh, I don't know, 17 or 18 dimes, something like that. And then move on over to the nickels. About six nickels. There's those beads. Zoom out on those. And then about 70, uh, 68, 70 cents and pennies. I had uh, two tokens. Let's see if I can. Uh, it says no cash value. And those were um, side by side, almost in the same hole. Another one of these um, metal clips of some type. I'm not sure what that is. And there's that uh, Taekwondo pin. It's looking pretty good. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can make the adjustment. There we go. There we go. And then, of course, two keys. Pretty much happens on every hunt. And there you have it. Didn't get any jewelry. You know, I was hoping that I'd get some, at least some silver, but... Uh, you know, that uh, doesn't happen on every hunt. But, um, you know, happy to get my Garrett ET Pro detector back from Garrett. Apparently I had two uh, bad bulkheads. Um, yeah, it took them about a week to get it to me. And I was going through the shakes. I sold my, uh, my Fisher. And that, now I'm down just to one machine. So I had to wait until I got that back. All right, there you have it. Feel free to comment, subscribe to my uh, little uh, 